Right there is what remains of the snow. It is crazy to think that uh, just this time last week, this entire yard was buried under snow and I'd say it was a good 15 to 16 inches worth. But now it is 70, birds are chirping, sunny, snow is melted, and it's time to start cleaning this up. One of the problems that we're gonna fix today is this little guy right here. We got a lot of it popping up to the yard. Warm weather hits, this is the first thing to pop up. Star of Bethlehem. Bethlehem. I gotta say that right, or the turf boss is gonna get mad at me. So, first order of business. Spray the yard for that crap. Just using some over-the-counter Roundup for lawns, good for a cool season lawn, specifically targeting Star of Bethlehem. Him, ham, Bethlehem, Bethlehem. That thing, we're gonna use this to spray that in the front and then on to the meat of this video. Let's get to it. spring for the weeds done now on to the real point of this video and that is the talk about this piece of crap right here <laughs> this pile of crap right here is my toro string trimmer expand i don't even remember what they called their expansion line back in the day when I first bought this thing. But as you can see from the pile, right in there, I had to get the Ryobi attachments because as soon as I bought this thing, they stopped making all the attachments and accessories for it. That was strike number one. Strike number two, this thing seriously has been so unreliable and this is not the first Toro product that has given me headache. I have had three Toro lawn mowers, two Toro string trimmers. Let me be perfectly clear. I do not like Toro products. In my experience, they're garbage. Seriously unreliable. Always had problems getting it started. Name a typical problem you have with gas powered string trimmers that have this attachment type system to it. I got all of those problems out of this system and out of Toro products, period. I've just no luck whatsoever, so I'm done. Toro, I'm done. Your products are crap. So what am I gonna be switching to to replace this pile of garbage right here? Well. Why Milwaukee M18 system? You might be asking, well, there's two reasons. One, in all of my research, there is one particular attachment that I am most excited for about this system. I'll get to that in another video and explain why. And the second reason, to be honest, I like this shade of red better. And I got the blower with it in a package deal for about 150 bucks off. So let's take it on its maiden voyage, break this sucker in and let the fun begin. Mm -hmm. 
Honestly, no complaints so far out of this right here or the string trimmer. Granted, this was the maiden voyage, time will tell, but all I have to say is I didn't have to break my back trying to crank this stupid thing down here. I don't have a whole lot of yards where I need to go out there and buy some beefy gas powered system. Honestly, this has been a long time coming. I mean, with this size property, I don't need any more than this. I'm just happy to be done with that stupid thing right there, that brand, Toro, you're dead to me, never going back. And before anyone asks or say anything, no, I am not sponsored by Milwaukee or any of that nonsense. Paid for this with my own hard earned greenbacks. There's that. So it is game on for the lawn season. At least it better be. Last time I said this, we had about 4,000 feet of snow dumped on us. We finally have figured out what we want to do with the backyard in the next video. Pretty sure it'll be in the next video. I don't know, we'll see about that. But here soon, I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing back here and we're going to start that process. So thanks for watching. It's good to be back on the tubes. I appreciate you watching all the way through. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment in the comment section below as always. Appreciate each and every single one of you. Keep on keeping on and I'll catch you in the next video.